The aim of this video is to give you all the information you need to know about using refineries in Star Citizen. There are timestamps to help guide you to the section most relevant for you, alternatively feel free to stick around for the whole video for the end to end guide. I'm Farrister and I often share Star Citizen videos like this on YouTube, so if this kind of thing appeals to you, you might like to hit that subscribe button to be notified of future videos. In the current patch of Star Citizen, all of the refineries are located on space stations at Lagrange points, although not every Lagrange point station has a refinery deck. If in doubt, opt for an L1 station. Heading to the refinery deck, then up the stairs takes you to consoles to sell raw ore or refine it. Refining ore gives a greater payout at the cost of a little extra investment and time. Each station has specific buffs or debuffs to yield, which are shown in the top left of the refinery UI. These are usually fairly minor, a few percentages here and there, so it's not the be all and end all. However, if you can optimise your output, clearly that will help. Crew L1 and Mike L1 are good places to go with Quantanium. In the future, there could be ship based refineries like the Misk Expanse, but currently, in game, it's just the stations. The refinery screen also shows the current capacity on the left hand side. A higher capacity means you end up paying a little more. In reality, all of the refinery stations in game are usually overworked at the moment, so that will apply everywhere and doesn't really make a difference. But what does make a difference, if you're finding this video useful, is pressing that like button to let me know to make more videos like this. After selecting your material location, usually your prospector or mole, and clicking to set up a work order, the next workflow lets you select which ores you would like to refine, and then to select a processing method. The processing methods all interplay between cost, time and yield. A higher yield means you get more processed ore for your refinement, a higher cost means you pay more to refine the goods, and a higher time means it simply takes longer to refine before it's ready for collection. If you're not in a rush and money is no object, I'd usually suggest either the Ferron Exchange or the Dinix Solvination methods, both of which will give you the highest number of refined goods, if you're prepared to wait a little. As you select each method, it highlights the impact on speed, cost and yield just above your material selection. You can then get a quote to see what the cost of processing with that method will be and how long it would take. You can also see the projected yield for that method. If you want to go ahead with the order, just press confirm and the refinery will start working on it for you. Once your refinery order is complete, you'll get a little notification in your Mobi Glass to let you know that a refinery has completed work orders for you. There's usually no rush to collect, as they'll hold on to it, unless there's a game patch or wipe. And if you choose longer refinery methods, you'll probably just find that they're done in a couple of days when you log in. Thankfully, the timer continues running even whilst you're logged out. To collect your order, you need to head to the refinery station with a ship capable of carrying cargo. The cargo capacity of your transport, in the current patch, needs to match or exceed that of the work order. For example, if you refined 32 SCU worth of ore, you'll need a cargo ship with enough storage for that refined ore. You then head back to the refinery terminal, and below where it says work order complete, select your cargo ship from the drop down list, then hit collect. It'll then transfer the refined ores to your ship and treat them as regular trading type cargo, which you can go and sell. Usually the major cities like Area 18 or Lawville are good places to go. Should you wish, you can also stop the refinery job early and collect that processed ore that has already been completed. This will sacrifice the remainder of the job, as it cancels the job and any unprocessed ore is lost, but if you're desperate for funds, it could be an option. You follow the same process to do so, and to load the completed ore, other than that a button says stop and collect. Hopefully this little introduction to refineries was helpful for you, and if you have any other top tips about refining your goods, please share those in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, you might press that like button, but otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.